Today we're assembling your new frag saw in five simple steps, plus a few time-saving tips to quickly get you from this to this. Out of the box, you should have the following pieces. Your top assembly, your bottom assembly, your fragging platform, your upper blade guide holder, two sponges, two guides, a spare adjustment screw, and two nuts. And of course, your blade. Slide that housing into the base and it should just slip right in and rest on that adjustment screw, which has been factory set, so I recommend just leaving that alone for now. Step two, remove the blade cover by placing your thumbs on the bottom groove and simply sliding it up. You can set it aside for now. Step three is the blade guide install, which is done by lining up the slot in the guide holder in the rear right edge and sliding it all the way up. Step number four, it's time to get that blade installed, which I've learned a few tricks for this one. Start by removing the blade from the case. To uncoil it, you just lightly hold each side and then lightly twist it. Just make sure not to pull or force it so you don't kink the blade. Next, starting at the bottom first and with that rough side of the blade facing you, slide the blade on the lower wheel. Once it's on the wheel, with your right thumb, hold the blade on the top wheel at about that 12 o'clock mark. Then with your left hand, slowly turn the wheel clockwise, keeping your right thumb in place to keep that blade on the wheel. Time-saving tip here is the tension adjustment screws both on the wheel and the left side are factory set and shouldn't need to be adjusted during initial setup. As you use your saw, you may want or need to adjust those tension screws, but for the initial setup, I recommend leaving them at the preset levels. Now that we got the hard part out of the way, a couple last steps and it's time to frag. Step number five is the upper and lower sponge placement. And the tip here is if you're planning to use your saw immediately, I recommend soaking the sponges in salt water before you install them. Just a few seconds and slide one under the wheel on the bottom by simply sliding it from right to left into the slot. For the upper sponge, start from the back and push towards the front until it meets the sidewall. And for the finishing touches, put the blade cover back on by matching the grooves and sliding it down. Then put the platform in place. Time saving tip, if you're using your saw right away, add salt water and fill to the top of the sponge in your reservoir and then put the platform in place by simply holding it up about an inch and sliding the platform into place, lining up with the grooves and the blade slot. Once you have it all the way to the back, simply push it down and into place. It should sit level and now you're ready to plug it in and start fragging. As for the spare parts and pieces, I recommend putting them in the blade case so you can find them later when you need them. For important saw maintenance and max performance tips, learn from my mistakes and check out my top 10 frag saw mistakes video right over here.